This lesson is for fourth grade, and it's beginning our unit on plants, and this lesson covers plant parts and their functions. Uh, we're just going to cover five basic parts of plants, and this is going to be quick and easy. So let's start with leaves. The leaves are the food-making parts of the plant. This is where photosynthesis takes place. So the food-making factories are sun catchers. They are come in all different shapes and sizes. Um, and that allows them to collect different amounts of sunlight, depending on the plant. Maybe the size of the plant, they may need bigger leaves so they can grow larger, um, so they need more sunlight. The leaves take in carbon dioxide from the air, uh, water from the soil, energy from sunlight. They use all of that to help them make glucose, which is sugar. Um, if you look at the outer part of the leaf, you can see this section here, this is the cuticle of the leaf. It's the waxy part of the leaf. And you see these things right here. These are the veins of the leaf. That's how water gets transported from the stem, comes through the stem into the veins, and that's what feeds the leaves water. Okay, that's how they get their water and nutrients. So again, the main function of leaves is they are the food-making factories of the plant. The next part of the plant that we're going to talk about are flowers, and flowers are the reproductive parts of a plant. Without flowers you couldn't make more plants and other flowers. Flowers' are, petals are bright and they smell nice and that attracts bees and birds other insects so they can pollinate the flower. And you'll learn more about that in our pollination lesson. But in pollination the petals are going to fall away and seeds are going to eventually develop in the part of the flower. It's called the ovary and that usually becomes a fruit and we know fruits contain seeds and we plant seeds to make more plants. So if this didn't happen, pollination didn't happen with flowers, you would not have more plants. So again, flowers are the reproductive parts of the plants and we'll learn more about this process of pollination in an, another up and coming video. Stems. Stems have two functions here. Let's talk about the first part. The part one function is that they support the upper part of the plant. So you think of the stem as a plant's backbone, um, so it's support. The second part, second function, is that it's an elevator. It's a transport system for water and nutrients. Water and nutrients come through the roots. They enter the stem, and then they disperse to the other parts of the plant, the leaves and so on, flowers and whatever. Um, the elevator in a stem has two parts. It's the xylem and the phloem. This is as a part of vascular plants. Vascular plants have tubes and vessels. The xylem goes in one direction, which is up, and it carries water with it, so up with water. Once it reaches the leaves, it's able to go through photosynthesis, as we spoke about earlier, and make glucose. It then can travel back down the stem, up and down the stem through a... a elevator called the phloem. Phloem goes up and down with sugar or glucose. Okay, so the two functions of the stem again, one is support structure just like a backbone. Two is it is a transport system for water and nutrients. The next section, next part we're going to talk about are the roots. The roots of a plant anchor the plant in the soil um, this is where we get the water and how it starts. A lot of plants, such as carrots, they store food in the roots. So there's three functions that you need to remember. Roots act as a sponge. They absorb water and nutrients in soil. You look how they kind of look like hairs. These are root hairs. And these root hairs, though tiny, maybe about a millimeter or so wide or long, and, but they collect all the water and they act like a sponge soaking it all up. Um, Number two is that roots prevent erosion. Erosion is the movement of weathered rock from one area to another. So whenever rain washes away dirt and it goes from the top of a hill to the bottom of a hill, that's erosion. Well, what happens, as you see here, it's tying all of the dirt together. If it packs it together, there's a less likely chance that it will fall apart. You're wrapping it up with a bow here. So... Two, prevents erosion. And three, it anchors the plant. As again, you can see in the pictures, once it's stuck into the ground, 
It's what keeps the plant from flying away, I guess you could say, or falling over. So again, the three functions of the roots that you need to remember, they act like a sponge, absorbing water. Two, they prevent erosion by wrapping themselves up like a bow around the dirt. Three, they anchor the plant. And the final part we're going to talk about are seeds. And we're not going to discuss so much functions of the seeds, but we're going to discuss parts of the seed. Uh, seeds contain a tiny baby plant inside, and that baby plant is called uh, an embryo, which you can see here. That's the embryo of a plant. Um, it also contains food, and it's endosperm, the cotyledon here. These have two halves. These are dicots. Dicotyledon means two cotyledons. The corn here is a monocot, which is a one cotyledon. Um, so again, your parts to remember, your embryo, your seed coat, which is the outside part. There's thin and thick coats which give them protection, able to survive those tough conditions, um, getting eaten by other animals and such. Um, your cotyledon, which are, you either have two halves. When this splits open, you have two halves, or you just have one, like the corn. And then your endosperm, which is the food on the inside. Okay, so this was our quick lesson over plant parts and their functions. Again, the parts you need to remember in their functions are leaves, which are your um, sun catchers, your food making factories, your flowers are your reproductive parts, the stems are your support and your transport system for food and um, your minerals and water. Your roots act like a sponge absorbing water, they prevent erosion, they anchor the plant, and seeds have four parts I want you to remember, the embryo, the baby plant, the cotyledon, which are your two halves here, which have endosperm, which is their food, and the seed coat, which is the outside part of the plant. This has been our lesson on plant parts.